What's up, y'all? It's Coach Alex Young from Think Pro Basketball. And today, we're going to go over the greatest player in the world in today's NBA, LeBron James, and some of his top scoring moves. Now, follow me, and let's take a look. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the first move of three, LeBron James and his power finish. We all know LeBron is one of the strongest and most powerful players in today's NBA. But before we do that, I need you to go ahead and click the link. It's in the first line of the description. You know the deal. It's gonna send you straight to our website where you can get your free workout today sent to your email. All you have to do is enter your email address and it'll come straight to your inbox. So let's take a look at the first move, the power finish by LeBron James. Like I said, LeBron is very 6'8", 260, whatever he is, He's a very strong finisher. He's very good at creating contact and still being able to finish at the rim. You know, he does his little flex, pats his arm, just to show really how strong he is when he gets into the paint. So with LeBron, it doesn't matter if he's got the advantage or doesn't have one. LeBron is getting to the rim. So with this first move, the power finish is all about creating that contact. You want to drive hard. So the first thing is get by your defender, create an advantage, or explode to the rim. When you get deep in here, what LeBron does before he even takes off is he initiates that contact, puts his shoulder right into the chest of the defender before they've even taken off to try to block his shot because he hasn't even left the ground. So what he does, he plants that inside foot, boom. That's a key part. Puts that shoulder right into their chest, doesn't allow the defender to jump off the ground. So then he hits him here, he explodes, and he focuses what LeBron's very good at it's finishing through the contact, getting and ones, or finishing through the whistle. Whatever it may be, he's very good at accepting the contact and finishing his shot, even though he may have gotten knocked off balance or he gets a little bump and he finishes. You can do the same. All you need to do is get out and practice and perform. So again, real quick, you drive, you plant that inside foot, you dip your shoulder to create that contact, absorb that contact, once you've done that, you focus on the rim, you finish, you get that and one. Let's take a look at this power finish by LeBron James in full speed. All right, guys, well, we've seen move one, the power finish by LeBron. Now we're going to take it down to the mid-range post area where LeBron has become one of the most efficient and effective players in the NBA. So for you smaller guards, you wings, or even you bigs, this is really a good move that you can learn today and right now. So let's take a look at the post, spin, step through that LeBron performs so well. So, like I said, it's going to be more of a mid-range move. Not so much on the block. You're going to be pushed out a little bit to about maybe 15 feet. You get the ball. If you're a guard, you got somebody smaller on you. You're a wing, you got somebody smaller. Or a big, you got the ball. The first thing that LeBron does is he surveys the court. That's very, very key. You have to be able to see what's coming. You never know. You might catch it and an immediate double team happens. So catch the ball, see the court, see what everybody's doing. Once you've done that, it's game time. You take one bounce or two, whatever you want, boom. LeBron does a great job is when he sells it. He takes that second dribble, he turns, he shot fakes. So just in case his defender leans into him, he jumps, boom. Or another defender comes baseline. So again, I come here, boom, there might be a help defender coming. I shot fake, key point, shot fake on this move. Again, boom, you spin, you shot fake. When you shot fake, it lifts your defender up in the air. You've got the advantage from there. I turn, I shot fake, now it's all about the step through. Shot fake, you take that step, don't lift this one, that would be a travel. A lot of refs are looking for a travel when you do a step through move. Boom, here, and you're underneath on the step through, and you finish, okay? It's very key that you don't lift up your pivot foot or you'll be called for a travel. So let's take a look at the post spin step through in full speed.
All right, guys, we've seen the first move, a power finish. Second move, post spin, step through. And the last one is just simp a simple power spin. Again, LeBron is a very strong and powerful player in the NBA. He's very able to get to his spots whenever he wants. Sometimes he has to use counter moves such as a spin to get by his defender. So if I'm gonna, you can do this both on the perimeter as a guard or in the post as a big man. I'm gonna do it on the perimeter because I'm a guard. So what you first do, obviously you wanna beat your defender if you can. If not, it's just a hard drive. You're driving really hard, got your defender on your hip, Boom, you plant that foot. Now we're spinning. It's a tight spin. A lot of players get out of control when they spin and they end up off balance or too far away from the basket. So we don't want to see a spin move that's out of control and way out here and you're shooting shots that are just not really in, the, in your game or not a part of the move that you're trying to perform. So again, you're driving by your defender. You're planting that inside foot. You got your strong base. You're in control, you're spinning tight. So when you spin, you finish right in front of the rim, right above the big man, you drop the ball in, get your two points, and get back and play some D. So let's take a look at the power spin like by LeBron James in full speed. All right, guys, well, we just went over top three finishing moves by LeBron James and how he uses them to score the ball with the best in the NBA. Now it's your turn to hit that subscribe button for me. Join the Think Pro movement. We're releasing new, brand new videos of how to become a top scorer like Kyrie Irving, or LeBron James, or Russell Westbrook, guys like that every single week. If you're watching me on YouTube, I need you to click the link, the first line in the description. It'll send you straight to our website where you can get your free workout today. All you have to do is enter your email address and we'll send it straight to your inbox. Now until I see you next time, I need you to get into that gym, work on these moves, perfect them, become a master of these moves and put them in your game. Enhance your game and become a better basketball player. Now until Coach Young sees you next time, keep hooping.